Alright, so I've been seeing quite a bit of this lately. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. Um, with no rear camera, um, maybe no front camera after, after a frame replacement. Alright, so let's test the camera real quick. Okay, the front actually works, but the rear does not work. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna show you how to diagnose and repair the no rear camera, and they've already tried another rear camera and everything. Okay. All right. So let's disconnect all this. All right. Let's go to the microscope. I'm actually not quite sure exactly why this is happening so frequently. Um, okay, so what you want to do is, for some reason, it's almost always the same damn thing, but, um, so if you look at ZXW tools, there's two connectors for the rear camera, okay? So on this top connector here, based on this, uh, how this uh, diagram is, uh, situated, uh, the, the third pin from the top here, which is PPCMPPVDDCON, okay? And if you look at the pin, um, it actually leads to the back of the logic board here, um, above the Wi-Fi, back top above the Wi-Fi chip to these two capacitors and, or I'm sorry, two capacitors and a filter right here, okay? And it's almost al always one or both of these capacitors that are blown. So, how do you diagnose it? Well, before, you don't even have to disassemble the logic board to diagnose it, but what you do is you just turn your multimeter into diode mode, okay? Um, diode mode is, well, you, you can just do a search, but diode mode is basically a horizontal triangle with a line on it. If you've never ever watched a video on my channel before. Um, so red lead goes to ground, red lead, see it, red lead goes to ground, black goes to the third pin, alright? So that third pin is reading 00 0.006 volts, okay, which means that this is short. Well. In the XW tool, this, this pin should not be short, okay? So the third pin should give us a reading of 0.561, right? And, and it shows that it's short, all right? So that pin is shorted for some reason. So what we need to do is disassemble the logic board and inspect these three components right here, okay? Which is what we're going to do right now. And it just happens to be that this lot this phone is water damaged which uh you know I tell every I tell people to not send us water damaged phones because we do not repair water damaged phones. But this is a store um that works with us and despite how many times we tell them that things don't fix water damaged devices, they almost always seem to send us um water damaged devices. Um but we're going to put the onus on them, meaning we're not going to give them a warranty. If they want to give their customer a warranty, that's fine. Whatever. We'll, we'll try to fix it if we can. So in this case, hopefully it's not going to be too much of a pain in the arse. What the hell? It's missing a little black thing. Oh. Okay, so let's look under scope again. Oh, let's see. So looking under scope, we can see that <laughs> it's always the same damn chip for some reason. Or the same damn component. It's always this one. And I don't really know why. It's very strange. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because of this. Maybe it's because of this, actually. Maybe it's because of these little nubs right here that, that are sticking up, and they try to put the component down, and it shorts it out or something. It's very strange, actually. Actually, no. Hold on. It goes... So this part goes over here, so, but... 
I mean, if you're not applying power to it, I don't really understand. I don't really understand. I don't understand why it gets shorted. Anyways, so the fix is, I'm not even going to measure it. I know that this is busted. So I'm just going to flick this mf -er off right here. And um, I, I don't really even need diode mode it because I know that that's short. But I'll do it anyways just for the sake of this video. Okay, now I'm getting 0.579, which is what ZXW Tools was saying. And just just to uh, dot, our, dot our T's and cross our I's, I'm going to measure this pin right here. And it says 0.59 volts, all right? So I know that this is fixed. The rear camera is fixed. Uh, and that is the solution. Um, so let me just get all this little junk off. Okay, so let's reassemble this puppy. And I'm just going to go ahead and fully reassemble it because I'm pretty sure this is going to work. And we'll go from there. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird that this keeps happening. Uh, it is weird, yeah. And it's almost always after a frame replacement. So I don't quite know how they're getting power to it. And yeah, it's kind of weird. It's really weird. Oh, maybe it's this little... Well, I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to put this little black thing in. They're missing this little black thing in the sim tray. I'll just grab one from one of these things that we have here. I'm pretty sure I have a busted 8 plus frame that nobody ever uses. Well, black thing. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Maybe I'll do it themselves. They screwed it up. Although. No, I'll do it for them. Alright, I'm going to pause it while I look for one of those little black things. Well, I was going to try to do a nice thing, but I was not able to... Well, I do have a black thing, but I'm not going to take it out of one of my good housings to put it in theirs. So, they're going to have to deal with themselves. I'm sorry. So, not my problem, my friend. What the... Looks like they did. They installed a few of these cables wrong too, because they don't really align. Then they're gonna complain that it's not charging or something's not working. Like this is this doesn't even like fit. But it's not not really my problem. That's not really my problem. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll let them deal with it. I mean, come on, man. It's not my problem, dude. Look. Water damaged. <laughs> not my problem. So, All right, I got nothing. Um, let's see, what can we talk about? Um, let's see, how's business? Well, business has definitely been a little slow. I'm sure, it's slow for just about everyone. Uh, maybe not, but somebody's calling, so I'll have to pause this real quick. What the hell's going on with his damn button? Jesus Christ. I mean, obviously they jacked it up too, so I, 
I mean, they obviously installed it wrong. So I'm just going to leave it dangling, man, and I'll just let them deal with it. This is bullshit. Anyways, maybe I should just close this up. No, you guys can't see shit right now. But uh, anyways, hold on a second. Let me just enter the passcode and put these screws in. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get the passcode. Okay, so it's... Okay, so let's go to the big screen. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay. Alright. So, anyways, so there you go. There it works. Um, that's how you fix the rear camera after a DIY screen repair or a frame replacement. Sorry. Um, problems almost, I don't know why, yeah, anyways, problems almost always the same, and, um, that's how you diagnose and repair it, um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you can send it to us and we'll do it for you, um, I think that's it, yeah, I think that's it, so, thanks for watching, and, um, I guess I'll talk more about business in an I just want to say thank you for watching our videos on YouTube. Um, you know, when I started micro soldering about three or four years ago, probably about three years ago, um, I started because I ended up breaking someone's phone during a repair. Yeah, this was back in the days of the iPhone 5C, and as I was disconnecting the battery, I accidentally pried off one of the little components next to the battery connector. So my options were to try to try to fix it or to buy buy the customer a new phone and and that's kind of what started this journey well fast forward three years later um, we have a website now microsoldering.com and we also have an online training course um, it's ninety nine ninety nine if you buy it through our website and we go over just about everything that you need to know to get started on your micro soldering journey um, it's uh, kind of sectioned out into about four parts and uh, the first part we just kind of go over all the basics and tools how to use diode mode um, and uh, what kind of tools and equipment to buy and stuff like that the second part we talk a little bit about ZXW tools and in the third part we go over four of the most common repairs let's update this it should be four common most repairs. so it's basically no touch no backlight no power and we just added a section for audio IC on the iPhone 7 and 7 plus and then the last part is data recovery no boot and just kind of a very basic um, uh, discussion about data recovery so if you want to buy it just go to microsoldering.com click on store shop and then you'll come to this um, this uh, page right here just click on buy it Udemy and that'll take you to Udemy where our course is hosted um, and you can even preview some videos of the course and see if you like it or not and right now it's we're at four and a half hours and we're adding to it um, as much as we can so uh, just make sure you go through our website otherwise the cost is a little bit higher alright thanks for watching in the next video alright thanks for watching